Start as a stem cell is a game for all ages. You have a team, and you might have a team of one person, two people, we've played it with teams up to six. And the aim of the game is to make as many of the differentiated cell types as you can in five minutes. And we can see that the differentiated cells on this map are all blood cells, and that's because the stem cell in the middle is a blood stem cell. So the first player gets a stem cell, and the demonstrator, which will be you, starts the timer. That will be five minutes. They stand in the middle with their stem cell and the dice. They throw the dice, and the dice will tell us in which direction you have to go on the board. So you can see that I've thrown a purple, a blue, and a black. I can't go this way because I'd need a yellow. I could go this way because I've thrown a purple, but I need to check as well that it's not this direction that I should be going in. And if I have a look, I need a blue, a pink, and a yellow, which I haven't got. So I know that I go this way. If you have more than one player, your second player then comes to join you on the board. They get a stem cell. They come to the center, start as a stem cell, get the dice, and find out what the next move is going to be. So we've got a yellow, a blue, and a black. Both players can play, and that's what makes the game more dynamic. And I can see that I can move this way. The second player has a look around. They can go that way because they've got a yellow. And then you're taking in turns throwing the dice. You've thrown a blue, a purple, and a black. I can move this way. The second player is a bit more complicated, so they need to look carefully. Because if they can find one that has all three colours, then that is the direction they need to go in. And in fact, the player can move towards this cell here. We throw the dice again, taking it in turns. Still no purple, so I can't go. And also, wow, Emma, our second player, has differentiated because she had a pink. And that is a good thing because it means now she can put her stem cell that she started with into the tube at the back here. Now, now that she's done that, she runs back to the middle with another stem cell and we start all over again. Now, there's one move that is a slightly bit different because, as you know, stem cells not only differentiate, they can also self renew. So if you're standing in the middle and she has got a pink, a blue and a yellow, she in actual fact could go on the self-renewal. And instead of carrying on because there's nowhere to go, she gets another stem cell, goes back to the middle and starts again. But the benefit of that is, is that she's now got two stem cells which she can put in the tube at the end when she's differentiated. Now that's our time up. Now if you're playing, you'll definitely get more than one. And what you can do if you're in a festival is you can record the number your team gets on a scoreboard. The rest of the teams during the day can all list their um, team scores and that gives it a nice edge when you're at an open day or festival. And that is how you play Start as a Stem Cell.